Three days later. Yes. Finally. Yo, it's Boz. Welcome back to the channel. So as you can probably tell from the skit at the beginning of this video and the title and thumbnail, we are going to be taking creatine for 30 days to basically see what happens and see if there's any changes at all in my body. I've been really excited to make this video and I reckon it's going to be really helpful for a load of people that have been wondering what this supplement is and should you take it, do you need to take it and what it does and like just to debunk all the myths and stuff about this supplement. But before we start taking this supplement, we need to do a bit of research and find out what it is. So let's debunk some myths. Creatine is definitely not a steroid. It's actually a naturally occurring substance in your body. And you can take it as a supplement for a healthy lifestyle. Anyone can take it. Creatine will definitely not make you look like a bodybuilder. It takes years of training to look like a bodybuilder. Creatine will help this. Creatine is a substance that is found naturally in muscle cells. It helps your muscles produce energy during heavy lifting or high intensity exercise. Bodybuilders often take this supplement to help gain muscle and enhance their strength. Chemically speaking, it shares many similarities with amino acids. Your body can produce it from the amino acid glycine and arginine. So when you supplement, you increase your stores of phosphocreatine. This is a form of stored energy in the cells as it helps your body produce more of a high energy molecule called ATP. ATP is often called the body's energy currency. When you have more ATP, your body can perform better during exercise. So how does it work? In high intensity exercise, its primary role is to increase the phosphocreatine stores in your muscles. The additional stores can then be used to produce more ATP, which is the key energy source for heavy lifting. This means you can lift a heavier weight and perform more reps. Therefore, working your muscles harder, meaning they can get bigger. Creatine is naturally found in meat and other animal products. Although to get enough creatine to help improve performance, I recommend taking a supplement of creatine through a powder or capsule. Right, so we've gone through pretty much everything and now we just need to figure out how much you're supposed to take of it. So in the olden days when creatine was quite new to the market, there was this myth going around that you had to do a loading phase where you'd go 15 to even 25 grams of uh, creatine per day. This was to like load it into your muscles and it's really bad for your stomach and it's not very good for you. And also it's even more expensive because quick maths, 25 grams compared to five grams, it's a lot less money. And the more recent studies have shown that taking four to five grams per day of creatine is well, just the, the same effect as loading phase and then going back to four to five grams. It just takes a longer amount of time, but it's a lot better for you and a lot more easier on your stomach. But yeah, you'll still have the same amount of creatine stores in your muscle. You, you're not able to magically have more creatine stores due to loading, that's not a real thing. So, how to take it is basically, you need, it says 300 ml of water, and then grab your creatine. I got it from my protein, and then find the scooper. And I'm gonna be taking four to five grams per day. This scoop is four grams, so that's about five grams. In with the water. Chuck it back. Mix it up. And it looks like that. That's pretty. It doesn't look like you should be drinking it, to be fair. It's not, it's not the right colour. So first try of creatine with just water. Yeah, tastes like blue raspberry. That's what I got. It tastes quite nice. I read a review that was like, Oh, I absolutely couldn't drink this. Nah, this, this is fine to drink. You can easily get this down. And there's also a non-flavor version and it's quite cheap. I think I got it for 12 pounds or something. There's always a load of offers on at my protein. So yeah, that is how it mixes. There are surveys that say that if you take it with protein and carbs with a meal, you'll utilize the ability to um, absorb the creatine a lot better with if you're on a full stomach with protein and carbs. So basically, I would just say, don't take it before you've eaten anything. Just eat breakfast and then have it, because then you've got some, you have, you at least have something digesting in your system to be able to absorb the creatine a lot better. So, this is gonna be a 30 day project. I'm gonna take a photo every five days of my physique and how it changes. And I'm also gonna be tracking my weight. And yeah, so basically we'll see you in 30 days. 
So for the first five days, I didn't really see much changes in my body. If there was any, it would have been placebo. On the third day or so, I decided it would be a good idea to increase my calories. And I've been on my new workout routine for just over two weeks now. So I'm starting to see some changes in my physique. So day 15, definitely putting on weight steadily, but I think that's slightly more due to the calorie surplus that I was in. So day 20, it definitely seems that I filled out slightly more in my upper body region, but I think that's more due to water retention as the use of creatine draws more water to your muscles. So day 25, and I'm definitely able to lift heavier weights during my training. Whether that's creatine or just placebo, my strength is definitely improving. Yo, so I think it is day 28. So we've got two more days left of this uh, experiment, little 30 day trial. And I'm just calling down from a little run. I did, I'll put it up on the screen of my times. I think it was just a 5K. But I don't know if it's the creatine that's doing this, but I've definitely noticed that it's a lot harder to like, it's a lot harder to run. I feel a lot heavier. I know I'm not much. I've put on a slightly bit of weight, but not much. I just feel a lot more tired. Like I'm, I'm getting a bit like I'm seizing up so quickly i'm having to stretch out so much more i don't know if that's for the creatine i have to have a look but yeah i just thought i'd give that little update because i know that a lot of people say that it helps with well obviously this is aerobic but it definitely helps with anaerobic but it has no side effect with aerobic uh, training pressure but it's definitely having some sort of effect on me so yeah i'll look that up and then add that in so i've just had a little look on the internet to see if i can find anything saying that it's affecting our uh, aerobic performance negatively but I couldn't find anything it's just think just studies saying that it does help with anaerobic performance but for me it's definitely affecting my continuous training and like just slightly longer runs in like an aerobic threshold so if you are competing in sort of long distance races like from 5k upwards I would definitely uh, look into it more deeply and like try and find out what like if there is any reasons for that before you start taking creatine because it's definitely definitely doing something to my performance in running. Yo, we're back and it is the end of day 30. So yeah, before we uh, go any further, I just want to say that this is my personal experience of taking creatine consistently for 30 days. The results may be completely different if you take creatine for 30 days, but this is what I got and I personally didn't have any upset stomach or any bad problems apart from just feeling a bit like I'm having to try a bit harder in my cardio. So basically the main purpose of this video is for you guys to get a little insight of basically what it's like to take creatine for 30 days and how it affects your body. And yeah, there's not much change. I definitely didn't see any change hardly whatsoever for the first 10 or so days. So before I show you the end result of my physique, I just want to say that I'm not like preaching. I'm not some fitness guru. You can take my advice or not. Basically, you need to research for yourself if you are thinking about taking creatine. Don't just watch this video. I'm not by any means qualified to be telling you what to do or you, if you should take this supplement or not. You need to decide that for yourself. Just watch this video as an insight of like what will happen and what you are going to see from taking this supplement. All right, so this is how we are looking at day 30 on creatine. So that's how we're looking at the end of the 30 days. I reckon I've made decent progress. I think I look a bit better, look a bit bigger. I definitely have got a li little less leaner, but that's because of the bulk probably. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below of if I've even changed at all. I hope this video gave you a bit of a better understanding on creatine and how it affects your body. And I hope it's like helped you make a decision whether to take it or not in the future. So with that being said, that's gonna wrap up the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you could like and subscribe, that would be brilliant. This is Boz and that's the end of the video.